My name is Georgina Stewart and this is Truth Bell. This is the news bulletin for the 3rd of November 2017. There has been a rise in people buying locally grown British food. Is this due to Brexit? Hannah Cornfield investigates. 96% of what you see here in the way of food and drink is from Cornwall. Um, 20 years ago you couldn't have done that. And I think the rise in popularity has been something that's snowballed and um, it's, it's crescendoed because of the way that the industry has collaborated, worked together and evolved. Elsa Welder and Julia Combini interview a girl about her experiences with the support she received with the university campus. Truthfell interviews Harry Bishop, who is the FXU President, Community and Welfare, on how they support people at Falmouth University. But the service they provide is what they are physically able to provide. The greater issue actually comes from a national issue that often people say mental health is an issue, it's, it's an issue that we all need to be talking about, but then we don't give any more money to it. So Cornwall has some of the worst services as a county. Falmouth's nightlife is coming back. Places like the King's, Mango's, Chain Locker, Piddy Cumbie Quick and other such establishments are coming back to Falmouth all of whom have been closed in recent times. Daniel Shearing will be interviewing an animal rights activist who is also a vegan. The activist discusses with Truthfell the reason why he went vegan, the methods he takes to promote veganism and his information about his protests. Well, that, I realised it's not, it's not mainstream media that's going to bring, like, spread this message. It's, it's social media and it's people taking it upon themselves. So I realised I have to start doing that. So I instantly made an Instagram account. I started posting a lot on my Facebook. Um, I lost a lot of friends by doing that. Maddie Smith, who attended a Harry Styles concert, discovered that there were several health and safety issues. She investigates how the situation could be improved and what went wrong and how people are throwing objects at the stage. Jasmine Warden investigates the event taking place on Saturday to search for seaweed on Gilly Beach in Falmouth. This is to monitor the change in Britain's sea life. And in sport, Anya Gilbert interviews director Ruth Ferrara, director of the She Extreme Film Festival, which focuses on the rise of women in extreme sports and creative film. Truro City are playing the FA Cup on Sunday for the first time since 1969. Can you tell me, can you tell Truth Bell more about it? So in the latest instalment of Chris and Gaz's Thoughts on Sports, we'll be rounding up the latest Cornish sporting news. As well as looking into Truro's next fixture against Charlton in the FA Cup. As well as looking at the recent speculation with Patrice Evra. Check it out. This was the week's Truth Bell Bulletin. Have a good day.